This episode of Techzilla is sponsored by Squarespace. We got this Facebook question from Richard who asks, I just saw the show about IOSafe doing backups and I was wondering if using old hard drives would be a good idea as a backup. I could alternate the drives every six months off site. However, I'm concerned about the data integrity if there is no power to the drives over extended periods. Is there data deterioration if the drive is not in use? And how long will the drive keep the data if it's not plugged in? Love the show, keep up the great work. Signed, Rick in Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. Hmm. Well, assuming the hard drive is untouched during that time, it could be as long as 10 plus years or as short as a single year. Data bits are stored uh, via magnetically charged, usually iron oxide particles on a hard drive's platter. So it's a platter, the head moves across it, it basically uh, creates a charge, the charge represents a bit, a zero or a one. Um, here's the thing though, thanks to the second law of thermodynamics, which states that isolated systems will tend towards thermodynamic equilibrium, AKA maximum entropy. Uh, over time, those magnetic iron oxide particles uh, that have been neatly arranged to form your incredibly important and critical data uh, will eventually just want to flip polarity, leading to corrupt data. They just want to sort of settle down, man. They're a little uptight about holding all this data. So over time, they're just gonna let it go. Um, we've had unplugged drives that still worked with all the original data on the drive eight years after being used, and some uh, that had been taken out of service, they basically like, we back up a lot of data, right? Ridiculous a amounts of data. We've pulled drives out of the shelf that were three years old, totally unusable. We pulled drives out of the shelf that were eight years old and all the data was usable. Um, depending on how old the drive is, the design, uh, how it's been used, your mileage is gonna vary and vary a lot. Um, there's also other issues beyond data retention of the platters with hard drives. You can have mechanical problems as well. Oh, the mechanical problems. Oh, without a doubt. I, I simply wouldn't trust a drive longer yeah. than its warranty. Give it about, say, if you've got a five-year warranty on your drive, then that's about where I would stick with it. Our recommendation really is to not skimp on the drives. If the drives are recent and haven't been heavily used, go for it. But if they've been sitting in your PC for five years, you'll probably want to buy some new drives. And most importantly, check the data on those drives at least yeah. once every month, if not sooner, if it's critical data that you're, you're backing up. One of the things we're seeing with a lot of the new NAS systems is doing things like data polishing, where it just goes through it like, hey, you know, make sure it, it just, it rewrites the data to the drive so that the data is consistent and maintained. Um, yeah, if data is critical, check it regularly. And I wish we had a better answer for you, but we're seeing variations all over the map with this one. It, it turns out of the data we looked up, most of the most of the lifespans of storage media hard drives are at the low end. It yeah. actually didn't offer you a lot of time compared to just about any other format, including SSDs. Yeah. However, there is some randomness in just about any product, so. That's the thing. That's why nobody's 100% certain about this answer. Yeah, well, the only way to be 100% certain is to look in 10 years, in which case your data might be gone. And I almost forgot, uh, don't forget that interfaces change. That's you know, very we've, true. We've gone from you know, you, IDE to SATA yeah. to oh, the well, PATA. Well, don't forget, like, <laughs> SCSI, ATA, IDE, SATA. It's just over time, like, there's nothing worse than having somebody be like, I need the data off this drive. And you're looking at it being like, I haven't seen that interface in seven or eight years. And then it's off to eBay. Totally. And or another reason we like NAS devices so much too is that you have that collection of drives mm -hmm. running all the time and it's also checking those drives all the time. And if there is a problem, it can warn you ahead of time yeah. and give you some time to do a swap if need be. Two is one, one is none. Three with one offsite, that's a backup program. Hey, let's take a moment to thank one of our sponsors. Squarespace is constantly improving their platform with new features, new designs, and even better support. They have beautiful designs and templates for you to start with, and all the style options you need to create a unique website for you or your business. Plans start at just $8 a month and include a free domain name if you sign up for a year. Plus, every design automatically includes a unique mobile experience that matches the overall style of your website, so your content will look great on every device, every time. It's incredibly easy to use, but if you want some help, Squarespace has an amazing support team that works 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I even use Squarespace for my sword and laser site, and I couldn't be happier. You can start your free trial, no credit card required, and start building your website today. When you decide to sign up for Squarespace, make sure to use the offer code TEXILLA9 to get 20% off and to show your support for our show. Squarespace, everything you need to create an exceptional website.